When we first came here to Gaythorne Hall, we were using more carbon than we were capturing. By changing the farming system, within two years, we're now capturing more carbon than we're using. Everything we do here on the farm starts with the soil that's beneath us. Regenerative farming is trying to farm more with nature than fighting against it. Bringing things back to the landscape that, that may not have been here for a while and producing really good food in the process, as well as increasing soil carbon and improving our biodiversity by improving soil health, changing the breeds of animals and the way we graze, planting hedgerows, linking up woodlands with a network of wildlife corridors and using less imports. This is having a great impact on the farm's finances and also the health and well-being of the animals on the farm and also really improve the quality of the beef that we're producing. And we split the farm up into different paddocks using electric fencing, also fences and hedgerows so that we can graze an area with a large group of animals. We completely changed the way we were farming the cattle here. We now keep the breeding cows outside all year, grow grass in the fields during the summer and then let them eat it in the winter. It gives it a chance to rest and recover in the, the spring and early summer. Doing that we've seen an uplift in the flora and fauna by up to 200%. The carbon footprint of most beef farms is pretty high so we're working with LDF and Lancaster University to produce a carbon report for the farm to demonstrate that upland farms like this can have a positive impact and also capture a lot of carbon if we do things in the right way. My name is Phil Scott. I head up the sustainable initiatives for Lake District Farmers. We're based in the Lake District. The idea is, is that we look at the soil on the farm to find out how it's performing at the moment and how we can improve it. And through the work that farmers like Jim Breary are doing, through regenerative agriculture and nature-friendly farming processes, we're starting to gleam glances of what it might look like if we keep doing this great work on the farms. The knowledge transfer partnership we have working with Lancaster University is funded by the KTP Network and UKRI. And this project will be used to help our farmers to become more sustainable in the future. I'm Dr Laura Giles and I'm working at Lancaster University on a knowledge transfer partnership with Lake District Farmers. My role in the project is to gather data from the farms to help LDF form their customers about their sustainability practices, ethos of trying to get towards generating net zero meat products and put upland farming data out there to add to what we understand about regenerative farming practices where we'll be taking up to 100 samples across the fields on the farms. That data will then be used to be inputted into environmental modelling which will then map out the soil across the farm so to show that these farms don't have to be reliant on government subsidies that they can produce a premier product whilst benefiting the environment. I believe if we can all work together there's a, there's a better future out there for all of us, not, not just farmers but people that eat our food and enjoy the countryside. I'm Jim Beery and this is why. <laughs>